Alrighty, let's take a look at this problem. Um, this is section 2.2. This is problem number 32 in the textbook. So uh, hopefully this will help you out. I'm sure there are a few different ways you can go about working this. We want to find the first derivative. So my first step is going to be to distribute the x to the fourth, to the parentheses there. All right, so that will give us, uh, and I'm just going to leave, uh, well, let's see here, we'll keep the f of x. That will give us uh, x to the fourth minus 2 times x to the fourth all over x plus 1. Uh, and, and again, there are a couple of different ways you can go about this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get a common denominator here, which is x plus 1. So that means I would have to multiply x to the fourth times x plus 1 to get that common denominator of x plus 1 and then the 2x to the fourth already have that denominator so it will stay just like it is All right my next step I'm going to distribute to clear the parentheses so I'm doing a lot of algebra first before I take care of the calculus so x to the fifth plus x to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth all over x plus 1 and then after I clear the parentheses I'm going to combine the like terms so that gives us x to the fifth minus x to the fourth all over x plus 1 and now it's, it's ready for us to find the derivative using the quotient rule. So low d high, the uh, minus high d low. So f prime of x be our, deri our denominator times the derivative of the numerator. So that's 4x to the uh, 5x to the fourth. Uh, minus 4x to the third. So low d high minus high, so uh, in the numerator, x to the fifth minus x to the fourth times the derivative of our denominator, which is 1. So derivative of x plus 1 would just be 1 all over our denominator squared. Okay, so now let's uh, clear the parentheses by using we'll use a distributive property so we'll multiply this out using FOIL or distributive property so I'll distribute the X from the first parentheses to the second parentheses so that's 5x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth then I'll distribute the 1 to the second parentheses so plus 5x to the fourth minus 4x to the third distribute the minus or negative to that parentheses there so minus x to the fifth plus x to the fourth all over x plus one squared okay uh, now we need to combine like terms in the numerator so we have five x to the fifth and um, minus 1x to the fifth, so that will give us 4x to the fifth. That takes care of those two. And then we have negative 4x to the fourth plus 5x to the fourth, which is 1x to the fourth. And then 1x to the fourth plus 1x to the fourth is 2x to the fourth. And then minus 4x to the third. So combine the like terms. And I would think the computer will accept it in this form, but you could you could clear, uh, clean up the numerator a little bit by factoring out the GCF, which would be, in this case, looks like 2x to the third. So 
So that will give us 2x squared uh, plus x, uh, let's see here, 2x or third x squared, so x, and then minus 2 all over x plus 1 squared. Alrighty, um, I think that's all we can do. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. That's not that we can't factor the inside there. So that's all we can do. So we would stop there. So again, uh, the steps that I took, first thing that I did, let's start at the top. I distributed, uh, the use of the distributed property with the x to the fourth to clear the parentheses. That gave me, gave me x to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth over x plus 1. And then I got the common denominator of x plus 1. So the x to the fourth did not have that factor of x plus 1. So that's why we had to place it there. Then the next thing that I did was to use the distributive property to clear my parentheses. Again, multiplied x plus 4, x to the fourth times x, which is x to the fifth. x to the fourth times 1, which is x to the fourth minus 2x to the fourth. Then I combine the like terms, so I had 1 minus 2, which is negative 1, x to the 4th. So I had x to the 5th minus x to the 4th all over x plus 1. And then I went through my first derivative using the quotient rule, low d high minus high d low over low low. So uh, my denominator times the derivative of my numerator, 5x to the 4th minus 4x to the 3rd, minus my numerator times the derivative of my denominator all over my denominator squared okay and then I multiplied x plus 1 times 5x plus 4 minus 4x to the third using FOIL or distributive property so x times 5x to the fourth is 5x to the fifth x times negative 4x to the third is negative 4x to the fourth then distribute the 1 1 times 5x to the fourth 5x to the fourth 1 times negative 4x to the third minus 4x to the third distribute this minus here so minus x to the fifth plus x to the fourth and then combine like terms 5x to the fifth minus 1x to the fifth is 4x to the fifth negative 4x to the fourth plus 5x to the fourth is 1 and then 1 plus 1x to the fourth is 2x to the fourth and then at minus 4x to the third and then I factored out the GCF in my, in my numerator so I had 4 2 and 4 so the 2 would come out and then they all had a common factor of x to the third so 2x to the third and then get left in the parentheses 2x squared 1x and then minus 2. Alrighty good people I hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you.